I'm not a baby, I'm a man. I am an anchor man. Victor Borga once said, laughter is the shortest distance between two people. It certainly brings us closer together. Will Ferrell, a Saturday Night Live favorite, is trying more dramatic parts, but he started on the big screen making audiences laugh with character roles in Zoolander and as Bob Woodward in Dick. Your deep throat? Yeah, we both are. How old are you? 23. Is that your combined ages? It's almost like learning a whole different set of rules. Uh, you know, there's uh, film, it's almost a different different ball game. Farrell is a good student. After graduating from USC, he became a member of the Groundlings comedy improv troupe. Then, as a Saturday Night Live cast member, he started making movies. It's really fun to kind of go to those different places that, that acting in a movie allows you to go. Good comedians always know how to capitalize on the extremes of comedy if you're Anything that takes away from something's threatening qualities, uh, it makes it more likely to be funny. And Will Ferrell is such a big guy, a potentially intimidating guy, and yet his persona is so lovable, so soft, so tender, so goofy, that those extremes make it impossible to dislike him. We'll eat sugar plums and gingerbread houses, and we'll even paint eggs. We'll paint eggs, that's easier. Anything that's of any worth on the page, you really connect to, it, and it's easy to connect to because you, you care about you care about this character that you're creating. Will plays sympathetic characters, Darren in Bewitched, and Ted in the animated feature Curious George. Oh. <laughs> He's grooming me. Everyone's doing it. Farrell portrays a man raised as an elf in search of his true identity in Elf. Simi Pro and Blades of Glory are strictly comedy. Will tried a more dramatic role in Stranger Than Fiction as an IRS agent who falls in love. Yeah, it was the first time, kind of the first time I think I've been in a romantic situation where when I've watched it, I was like, come, okay with it. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, I'm so lame. A reprimand? This is a boarding school, Miss Pascal. You stole from the government. No, I didn't steal from the government. I just didn't pay you entirely. If you're an actor, you're an actor, and that means drama or comedy. Dramatic actors very frequently step out and do comedies, Jack Nicholson being an example. So there's absolutely no reason why someone who's as skilled at comedy as Will Ferrell can't, uh, can't stretch a little bit and flex those other muscles. It was kind of a welcome change for me to get to play someone who is really just kind of grounded and real. After Stranger Than Fiction, critics describe Farrell as having dramatic gifts equal to his comedic talent. Another comic actor with proven talent. You have your uvulus muscle that connects to the upper dorsimus. It's boring, but it's part of my life. I'm just gonna grab this shirt if you don't mind.